worship the Lord. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that your presence is here with us, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are speaking to us today, Lord. You're manifesting yourself to those who love your word, O oh God. We thank you for manifesting your life to us, God. We thank you for manifesting your healing power, God. Lord, we thank you for those who don't know you, God, and you're revealing yourself to them, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you have called us. Not that we loved you first, but you loved us first, God. And you have called us by your name. Called us by our name, O oh God. You said, God, that you, we are your children. And as children of God, we can cry out, Abba, Father. Abba, Father, God, who is with us. Whom we have not seen, we love, yet we believe. We believe and we rejoice with unspeakable joy and full of glory. Knowing, God, that you have made us alive. That is why we can rejoice in knowing that we serve a living God. We're going to sing from scripture in 2 Peter 1.8 where it says, Whom having not seen you love, whom though now you see not, yet you believe. And why do we worship this God that we, and we rejoice and we, we, we call him our Father because we know he's real. We know that he has made us alive on the inside. And that's the great thing about the God we serve. The reason we know that He is the true and the living God is because of the change He does inside our heart. And when He changes us on the inside, He opens our heart to see who He is. The Bible says that we were dead. We didn't know who God was. But when we asked Jesus Christ to come and be our Lord and Savior, He removes that dead heart and He gives us a heart that is alive. To see who he is. And as it says in 2 Peter 1.8. We rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. We rejoice in a God that we know is alive. Because he has done the change in our heart. When he changes our heart we are able to rejoice and talk great about our God. Father, we know that you are real and you are manifesting yourself today, God. We pray, Lord, those who don't know you, Father, you're revealing yourself to them, God. Father, you said that when we call on the name of Jesus, you will answer us. Thank you for hearing us, God, today. We rejoice with joy, Father, knowing that you are alive and working, God. Thank you, Father. We praise you for you are alive. Hallelujah. Praise you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We rejoice. Hallelujah. Father, we rejoice. You are alive, Father. You are alive. Just begin to think about that. He is alive on the inside of us. And we rejoice with joy unspeakable. When you receive Christ into your life, there's a joy that comes that nobody can take away. The joy that no man, no thing in this world can fill. It's only by knowing Him through which we get a joy. It's like no other joy. Let's sing about it from 2 Peter 1.8. We rejoice with joy unspeakable.
secrets in the world We will shine as lights in the world To the dark and lost in this world We will shine as lights in the world We will shine hide the light that we've been given we're gonna shine for you jesus oh god all our hope is in you father everything that we are lord it's all because of you lord you are messiah jesus that we are proclaiming to this lost world father even as we shine our light god many will see and put their trust in you, God, and they will glorify our Father in heaven. You are the Lord of all. Father, we thank you for equipping us and, Lord, the Holy Spirit that is working through us to bring the words to speak to people, God. We believe it, Father, that we can shine in this world. Jesus, Messiah. Blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah.
you so much. He sent his son to die for you. And he's given you a new life. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world and whosoever believes in him should not perish. When you believe on Jesus, you're guaranteed your destiny. Your eternal destiny is secure. Number one, you can be sure that you're going to heaven to live with him forever. And also you can be guaranteed that you can have a life in abundance. You can enjoy life here on the earth, not just wait when you go to heaven. But right now God is just speaking to you. If you've been searching for Him, if you've been saying, God, I need to know who you are. I'm not sure who you are. And you're wondering whether God is even real. God is saying, I'm manifesting myself right now here. God is saying, if you call unto me, if you just call me and say, God, I need you can't live life without you. Maybe those are the only simple words you can say. And the Bible says that He's near to those who call on Him. He's near to the broken heart also, the Bible says. He knows what you're going through. He knows the things that have happened. And He says, if you come to me, I'll wash you white as snow. And as far as the east is from the west, so far have I taken your sins away. He casts it all away to the depths of the sea. The God that we serve doesn't remind us of all the wrongs we've done. Rather, He's there to forgive us and to give us a brand new start. So all you got to say is, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe that you are Lord and Savior. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you rose again. I invite you to be my Lord. Give me a brand new life. When you say those simple words, Jesus comes and he lives. It's that simple. Believing and speaking with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Lord. We believe it right now. The Bible says when you say that, you are saved. You are saved and you are born again. And then when you need the Holy Spirit, just say, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come and live on the inside of you. And you can start speaking a brand new language. Thank you, Lord. We praise you for salvation that is taking place. Thank you for souls that are being saved right now in the kingdom of God. We speak it right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that even as the word is preached, that, Lord, your word is becoming alive to our spirit. Thank you for showing us, God, what you want us to know, to know and what you want us to see in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated.